Welcome to Small Girl Big Talk, where we talk about all the big stuff in adulthood like relationships, self-identity, mental health, and all the other important things that you care about. I'm your host, Wendy, and my hope for this podcast is really for it to bring comfort and help you to feel a little bit less alone in your adulthood journey. As I am speaking right now, It has been a couple really busy weeks on my schedule, like on top of my day job and my podcast and my social media content. I was also really busy with preparing for a mental health workshop, which I finally got to conduct for the first time last weekend. It is something that I've always wanted to do. And when the opportunity presented to me for the first time, I had to take it. Um, I think it went pretty well. But there are a lot of things that I know can be improved as well. So I'm quite excited for this new journey for me in exploring, like conducting mental health workshops. And on top of that, there's just been a lot of festivities going on. Like there are a couple birthday parties coming up. It's Halloween week as I'm recording this. I enjoy all these celebrations and fun. It's just that there's just a lot going on and I really need to figure out a way to pace myself. And I can easily say that because I want to prioritize my well-being that I would like to skip this week's episode. But I felt like I've already made a commitment to produce a weekly podcast episode and I really still feel the desire to show up and to talk to you guys about how I've been feeling and what I've been learning in my, you know, life journey. And so I thought, why not come up today and share with you about how to show up even when you don't feel like it. I would really love to share with you about what I feel has helped me to really maintain this mindset and attitude to keep wanting to show up even on days that I am tired, like where I am right now. And I'm just going to hop right into the content just like that. I feel like the first reason where I am able to show up like that, it's because I really love what I do. You know, podcasting can take up to a minimum of five hours a week if you include the time where I take to plan, to write, to record, to edit, to post, to repurpose my content. Like five hours is really the minimum that I would need to actually create a new episode every week. Yet it has also been very fulfilling for me to see the responses every time I post a new episode. Of course, I am still a budding content creator in terms of podcasts and my numbers are not that big. But I really appreciate those intimate responses, whether you choose to private message me on Instagram or to drop a comment on my new post or to respond it to the Q&A in Spotify or drop a comment on YouTube. Like every single responses that you give, I really appreciate them. I really feel like through this podcast, I'm able to connect with people on a very personal level And that really fulfills me. And I also think that as I am creating this weekly podcast episode, it is really taking me one step closer to my dream life. Even though there is still a lot of uncertainties in terms of how can I pave my way into getting there, I am really willing to put the extra mile because I can see that it is taking me one step closer towards where I want to go. And at the same time, I am also pretty self-aware. Like on days where I don't feel like showing up, I would always ask myself this question, like, am I really burnt out? Am I really tired and sick, like physically unable to create an episode? Or am I just resisting it because I had some fear about showing up? Maybe I am afraid that I spend a lot of time in creating a new episode only to get cricket responses, like only 10 downloads for a new episode. I do get that fear sometimes and this kind of fear might actually lead us to not want to show up. 
or maybe I was worried uh, people are going to judge me for some things that I'm going to say and that is pushing me to not want to show up. So I would actually ask myself questions and to reflect to understand if I don't feel like showing up because I really need to rest and take some time to really energize myself and refresh my mind or was it just some resistance because it's out of my comfort zone? If that is that case, I would probably try my best to coach myself out of that mindset and to push myself to keep creating because for us to be able to grow, it's really a lot about pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone, right? Another reason that I feel like has helped me to really show up even when I don't feel like it is that I've also started to practice the slow hustle. And that means that I actually prioritize my well-being and I'm not too harsh on myself. So for example, this past week, because I had to be busy with preparing for the workshop that I'm conducting and I'm still producing weekly podcast episodes and I still have a day job that I'm kind of busy with, I actually allowed myself to skip gym completely. Like I I think I only did one day of yoga because I really felt like I needed that stretch. But I really wasn't, like I didn't feel bad or guilty at all for not hitting the gym because I have also accepted that in different seasons of our lives, we would have different priorities. So I'm not trying to achieve everything all at once. I have started to really allow myself to go with the flow with the tasks that I need to do. And because I practice this soft hustle, I realize that I don't really experience burnt out as much anymore. Like even on days that I'm tired, I'm actually still able to flow through and get my job done. I feel tired, but I don't feel burnt out. I think that's a very huge difference. And you know, some people might say that with me practicing the slow hustle, it feels like I'm becoming a lot less ambitious because we have been conditioned by the media that hustle, 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 you got to work hard to really get to where you want. But the truth is you can also hustle in a slow momentum that suits your life's pace because I really think that we need to learn to truly live while working towards our dreams. One more thing that has helped me to make things easier for me to show up even when I don't feel like it is that I have already simplified everything as much as possible for me to show up and create my content for my community. There is a reason why I am recording a podcast instead of making a full-on YouTube video. And that is because I wanted to find a platform where it's easy for me to show up. Instead of stressing over the amount of B-rolls that I need to record for my YouTube, instead of stressing about all the visuals that I need to work on to really engage people on a YouTube video, I chose a podcast because it is easier for me to focus on my words and to edit just my audio. Like even though I am creating video podcasts, at this moment, my video editing is a very simple editing. I know that it can get better, but I am sticking to this right now because it is what I am able to commit to in terms of my time and resources. I also chose to, you know, buy a USB microphone instead of like a fancy one with a fancy setup because I want it to be easy for me to set up when I need to record a podcast. I just need to put my iPhone in front of me. I just need to connect my microphone to my USB and I can start recording. On top of that, even with the preparation of my podcast, I've already created templates in my Notion page where I can just click on add a new podcast episode and all the steps to be done is already there. All my headings, the parts where I need to prepare for my show notes, all of the notes are already automated for me. And with AI coming into the picture, I have also have my go-to AI prompts that I can copy and paste to just simplify things for me as much as possible whenever I want to create a new episode. So what I'm trying to say is as I simplify my processes, it makes it easier for me to work on an autopilot. 
Like I don't need to worry too much about so many things because I've already laid out everything in advance for myself to make it easier for me to just get into creative mode and to just do the work instead of worrying about everything. One more thing that I've also accepted is that done is better than none. Like I mentioned earlier, I am very aware that I can always do better with my new episode. Like I can always improve my editing in my videos. I can always add subtitles and do things to make it pop a lot better to be more engaging. But I also didn't want to be held back by my perfectionist tendencies because my focus right now is to really build a habit to keep on creating. I used to struggle a lot to post on Reels and on TikTok because I was always overthinking about my strategies. Like I was always thinking about what would people want to watch? What do I need to do to make sure that I am on the right side of the algorithm so that I can attract as many people as possible? Like I used to think too much about these details to the point that I don't feel inspired to create good content but now because I kind of force myself to show up on a weekly basis from this podcast I feel like my brain is more used to producing content now and because of that my brain is so used to creating now I can even come up with additional content on top of my repurposed content for my social media platforms and I think that that is a huge improvement considering how I used to be paralyzed to the point that I'm not able to post at all. And going back to what I was sharing, done is better than none. I feel like we really need to remind ourselves that sometimes we are just a bigger critic to the content that we're creating and the ones that are 80% where we want to be is already enough for other people to consume. One more thing that I learned and accepted and I feel like has helped me to show up easier when I don't feel like it is that I've also learned that being authentic doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be honest all the time. It is no secret that I used to struggle with depression and for the longest time, I always felt like a fraud that I showed myself up as a bubbly energetic personality on social media but deep on the inside that I was kind of unhappy and I have some dark thoughts that was going on in my head but I realized eventually that when I don't share every single thing that is going on in my head I was not lying I was just selectively stopping myself from sharing some stuff because I was not ready to share about it. The thing is, as a content creator, if you want to take this professionally and if you want to really put your audience first and to really think of things from their point of view, right? It is important for us to actually think about how can we make the content flow better? How can we make it easier to digest from the audience POV? And you know, what would work better for the niche? And for the things that we might be struggling with, we can always share about it later when it is the right time to share about it. And when I learned and accepted this mindset that being authentic doesn't necessarily mean that I have to be honest all the time, I learned that actually it's a lot easier for me to just show up and focus on my content. I feel like in this past year, I've learned to compartmentalize the thoughts that are in my head. Like, yes, I have things that I'm struggling with, but when it comes to creating content for my podcast and for you who are listening right now, I am able to just focus on what would work best for the content instead of like trying to dump everything that is on my head for you. Because I know that when I'm able to kind of selectively put the right thing in the right place in the right flow, that is going to be the best for you and I. And we can always talk about the sad stuff or the dark stuff when I feel more ready to share about it. And ultimately, I think showing up 
even when you don't feel like it, it's really a matter of persistence and commitment to your passion. And in my case, it's also my audience as well. I am someone who really enjoys listening to stories or watching documentaries about the behind the scenes of celebrities' lives. One of the scenes that really stood out to me was how when Katy Perry, I think she got a divorce with Russell Brand. It was like right before a concert, it was backstage. She just cried for a little bit. And then an hour later, she is right on stage shining for her audience. Like even though it was so painful to watch it, I really admire the professional in her and how she's able to really show up for her audience because there are so many people that are kind of waiting for her and she's responsible for their paychecks and she's responsible for her fans. You know, they bought the ticket to go there to see them. And same thing goes for Lady Gaga. Same things go for Blackpink and all the other singers that, you know, I watch their documentaries. I always find this attitude to be really admiring. Like even though it's so painful for their mental health, it's so stressful. I also think that this attitude is really, I don't know, I just thought that it's really cool and admiring and And in that sense, it really inspires me to want to commit to the vision that I have, to want to commit to my audience who are listening, to commit to this promise that I've made to myself that I want to create a weekly podcast episode. So unless I am truly burnt out or that I'm physically sick, or maybe I really have some super urgent work in my day job that really stop me from recording and posting on time, I will always try my best to show up because this is a commitment that I've made for you and I've made for myself. And there you go. That's kind of what I wanted to share with you today. Um, Let me just do a quick recap, right? How to show up even when you don't feel like it. Some of the reasons that really allowed me and helped me to show up even when I didn't feel like it was number one, I really love what I'm doing. I have a strong passion and a very strong why. Number two, I practice a slow hustle and that has allowed me to avoid burnouts and to be able to walk on the long haul. Number three, I've simplified my processes and automated as much as I can so it's a lot easier for me to just show up and do what I'm meant to do. Number four, I've learned that done is better than perfect. Number five, I've also learned that authenticity doesn't mean honesty. I just need to say the right thing at the right time. And finally, persistence and commitment. These are two values that I really uphold and I think that has pushed me to continue to show up even when I am tired. I hope you enjoyed this podcast episode. I feel like I'm starting to get so used to recording that my episodes always end up to be about 30 minutes long and I'm trying to like make it shorter so that it's easier for you to consume and it doesn't take up so much of your time. So I'm really trying to be mindful about that. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me in the comment section or drop me a message on Instagram. And if you find this episode to be helpful, please also share this onto your Instagram stories or share it with your friend because that is going to help me a lot in reaching out to more people who can benefit from this podcast. And that's all that I have for you today. And this is goodbye.